Hello friends, welcome to Core Basics Coding Tutorial. In this computer science concepts tutorial, we are going to see the difference between multiprocessing and multithreading. Both of these are ways to achieve multitasking. Now, what is multitasking? When you are doing multiple tasks at the same time, it is called multitasking. For example, this mom, she is taking care of baby, picking up the phone call, and at the same time, cooking food. So she's doing all these multiple things at the same time. That's why it's called, she's called to be doing multitasking. Our computer, in similar fashion, does multiple tasks. For example, on my computer, I have PowerPoint running. I have a browser running. I might have calculator, couple of other programs running. So all these different programs are basically different processes. And if you want to see those processes, you can see it here in Windows Task Manager. If you go to Details tab, uh, all these entities which are listed here, they are all different processes. So for example, for Chrome, I have all these processes. And for PowerPoint, I have this guy here. And there is a PID, PID means process ID. So they have their own different process IDs. So understanding processes is pretty easy basically there are different programs running on your computer then what is uh, actually multiple threads okay so let me go back to my presentation so multiple threads basically lives within a same process so in this diagram here this outer block is a process which has its own virtual memory or an address space now it can create multiple threads inside it now the difference between process and thread is that threads will share this address space now they will have their own instruction sets they will be doing each of these threads will be doing a specific task and they will be executing their own code they have their own uh, stack memory own instruction pointer but the only thing that they share is the address space, which means if you have any global variables de defined in your program, they can be accessed by these threads. Any heap memory can be accessed by these threads, okay? Whereas if you look at the processes, uh, this is process one and process two, they have their own address space, okay? And if they ever want to communicate with each other, they can use uh, inter-process communication techniques such as a file on the disk or a shared memory or a message pipe okay so from these two pictures you can at least guess what is the key difference between process and a thread so the key difference is threads are lightweight versus processes are heavyweight okay that's the key difference now if threads are lightweight why do you even care to create a new process well first of all these processes are different programs written by different companies so they have to run separately as separate process and another thing is if you have any error or a memory leak in one program or or one process it will not impact another process versus if you have that problem in a one thread then since it is running under as you see in the diagram if this thread has a memory leak then it can potentially impact the entire process and it can have harmful effects on these threads in the parent process all right so that was all about uh, multi-processing and multi-threading thank you for watching